Have you been ever in the situation where you want to export your Figma designs to After Effects for animations? So today we are going to do you know uh, it with quickly, without using any plugins because uh, there are some plugins. But then you need XD uh, for that, and then uh, XD is almost kind of you know. Uh, shut down by the adobe so uh, we are going to use an alternative way where you know uh, so uh, let's do it quickly and uh, well before that make sure you already subscribe to the channel and if not then do it right now because if you are not doing that then you're going to miss a lot of exciting content ahead now i'm in figma so i'll select my you know image or you know the vector which i want to export to the or the design which i want to export to the uh, after effects it could be the entire design uh, the ui whatever you want you know your buttons anything a search bar whatever you want to you know take to the after effects and animate it so uh, just for this demo i have this uh, uh, simple logo uh, or a character kind of thing so i'll just you know copy it as a uh, svg and uh, i i would not you know use the uh, you know paste directly svg in the after effects because it because it doesn't support so i have to go to the illustrator right and i have to paste the svg here so now when you paste the svg here you can see you know it has retained uh, all the vectors as it is though uh, it doesn't you know retain the layer names but all the layers are you know or all the um, the vectors are retained as it is so what you can do is you know you can in the illustrator you can you know uh, simply group them or add them in the separate layers uh, so yes let's do this uh, what i'll do you know i'll just first you know select this layer and i'll go here and let's you know uh, release them to the layers with the sequence this time and now i have created all the different layers out of this i'll just drag them out and those are not under layer one anymore i'll delete the layer one because i don't need it anymore so i'll just simply delete this and now if you want you can you know rename these layers so basically that will help you to you know animate them in after effects so i'll just uh, have some uh, l dot leg uh, then this is going to be r dot leg you can have any names doesn't matter that's just the convention uh, you know uh, everyone uh, do it uh, whatever they like so what i'll do for the body i will not you know create all these four layers so i'll just you know uh, select these and i'll just move these parts in the layer 9 so that is you know my body layer so this way i don't have to you know uh, uh, export all these shapes separately uh, but then you know i can export everything uh, as a single layer right so i'll just rename this as body and i can get rid of all these three extra layers again i'll do same uh, for the eyes as well because eyes as well you know uh, have two different layers for two different parts uh, so let me just confirm if it is you know the same right yeah so i'll just move it here and same way we are going to do it uh, for the layer two uh, and we'll move it under layer three so layer Two and layer four can be now deleted, uh, and let's just give them name uh, L dot I, and let's give it name L uh, sorry R dot I. Okay, now my Illustrator file is ready. I'll just simply save it um, Figma to AE. Okay, and I'll save it as an Illustrator file. Save. That's it. Uh, whichever version you have uh, I mostly keep it 2022 because then that is supported by a lot of users. Uh, Okay, let's go to the uh, After Effects quickly and now let's import this. Uh, you can do it uh, uh, by, you know, simply double clicking here, which will open the import box. Uh, oops, sorry. Yeah. And now I'll select this Figma to AE dot uh, AI. And uh, here I will be selecting it as, you know, create composition. Okay. And import as composition retain layer sizes because you know that is important to retain all the layers in after effects uh, as it is which we have in figma and illustrator so uh, that helps us you know to select individual objects and animate them as uh, we want so i'll select composition retain layer sizes right and then i'll just open this now uh, i'm sorry cancel yeah so uh, my figma 2 a is now imported i'll just simply drag it in the main comp and when i double click here you can see you know all my uh, layers are here so i'll quickly have you know uh, a simple small animation here uh, you can you know hit f9 on your keyboard so that will convert them into easy ease uh, keys and then now you can just adjust the graph uh, 
so uh, now we have adjusted the graph and the keyframes now is the time to you know adjust the the timing so first let's say start with the body um, okay and then uh, we have legs so I'll just take them a little bit ahead a couple of frames and then the eyes so this way you know right so you can again uh, you know just move them uh, with one frame uh, kind of thing and now you can see um, you have nice cool animated character ready okay so we have exported uh, successfully from the figma and animated it in the after effects so yep uh, if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to write in the comments uh, you know if you have any suggestions also uh, your like and comments uh, helps us uh, to grow and keep creating such an amazing content for you so if you enjoyed it really uh, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe till the next video keep watching keep learning keep signing